Hey, it's Jake over at Heartland Marine. I'm gonna do a quick walk around video on this Baja 277 Islander. It's an 08. Just give it the once over, let you know the condition, if there's anything we need to touch up and what we'll do, what we're not gonna do. Just to give you a better idea of actually how it sits. Start off here on the swim platform. A couple little scrapes, nothing major, a scratch here. Now stuff like this I usually don't fix uh, unless it's deep into the fiberglass. So light little surface stuff like that I'm not worried about. Anything with fiberglass showing I'll fix though. A little bit of a crack here. Yeah that doesn't have any fiberglass showing so I'll leave that alone. A couple more little scuffs. That's just a little dirt. A few more scuffs there. Those might even wipe off. Drive looks good. It's got the stainless steel keg guard. Uh, I'm assuming that's probably got damaged at one point. Maybe got a little shallow and chipped it or broke it off. So. That's usually why you see those stainless steel guards on. Bottom of the swim platform looks solid. I don't see any cracks. Does have trim tabs. Oh, let's check the cover out. If there's any rips or tears in the cover, we'll get those fixed. I'm not seeing any. Looks pretty nice. All right, let's take a look at the starboard side. I uh, got one scuff here. I think this is uh, just a plastic kind of trim piece. But again, I'm gonna be picky. No big deal on there though. A little bit of grime we need to clean it up it's hard to tell scratches on these colored hole sides so i'm just trying to get every angle so i can point them out if i see them one small scratch here i'm gonna leave that alone that's not very big Seeing if that was dirt, those are actually a few little chips here, 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 and here. Again, not very deep. I'll leave those alone. One small scratch here. Bow cover looks nice. Let's check the keel here. Yeah, bottom looks good. This does have the docking lights up front. Couple small little scuffs and very minor scratch. Another little chip here and here. Real light scratch right here. Uh, that could actually probably come out with a buff. 
like I said, again, I'm going to be super picky because I want somebody to know exactly what they're looking at. There's nothing out here. I mean, the boat's beautiful. Nothing out here that anybody would be concerned about. Another one there. Pop up cleats. Give me just a second, we'll go inside and show the interior. All right, here we are inside. Now we haven't done a detail on it, so we will definitely do that. You'll see it's got a little bit of just grime and stuff. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's just a piece of something. Back seats look nice. Let's check the sun pads. Got one little split right here. I mean, unless you're specifically looking for it, you probably never even see it. So being that minor, I'm just gonna leave that alone. It's hard for me to match the color exactly. So if I recover it, that portion, it's, it's gonna look off, it'll look worse than it does now. Yeah, everything's nice, vibrant. This one does have the tower with the bimini attached. Bimini's in nice shape. I don't see any rips or tears anywhere. Got the dual chairs. I always forget how these bolsters work. Some of these are powered with the drop down and then I forget other ones have a little mechanism. All the vinyl looks nice, the chairs. Let's check the back corners. Those always seem to get nicked when you're walking by. A little scuff on this one here. It's just the very top layer of the vinyl. So it's not gonna not gonna get any worse. It's not actually ripped, it's just scuffed. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I mean, really, there's nothing I gotta actually fix. Which for an 08's unusual. Head compartment, got the porta potty. Most of the time that just becomes storage anyways. Here at the helm, we've got the Lavorsi gauges with the uh, Chrome bezels really sets it off. Looks nice. Carbon fiber accent here. The camera's not even doing it justice. I mean, the dash just looks like a million bucks.
very minor. I've got a little bit of cracking. Actually, it was repaired. I don't know if you can see. It's got a repair here in the middle. It's kind of got that goop where I didn't get it completely even. But I do have a few cracks on the side. I'm going to have to talk with my vinyl guy. For now, I'm going to say we're going to leave that just because of where it's located. And it's kind of right there into the orange and the yellow. If I have to recover both sections, it's going to be hard for me to match the orange and the yellow here. So it's going to be just a different shade. It might look goofy. Um, I'll just, I'm just going to have to get my vinyl guy and, and see if there's something he can do to make it look a little nicer. But I know if I try to try to fix it, I'm going to end up making it look worse. And I mean, realistically, it's not even that big of a deal. Other side, same kind of thing, not quite as bad. I'm just impressed at how the color held up. A lot of these in the purple, you'll still, you'll see some hazing and some white discoloration. I'm not seeing any of that here. bounce around on the floor and see if there's any soft spots feels pretty solid now right here in the middle you do have a hatch I'm gonna pull this carpet up and show you so it's always going to be a little spongy there because that hatch is just plastic. Right here. I think that's a hatch for the top of the fuel tank. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. So those are always a little spongy since they're just plastic. But the floor is solid. Nothing with the floor. Carpet's in decent shape. It's a little wet. I had it outside and it was starting to rain. We we're going to take some pictures of it and they brought it in. But yeah, this is the 08 Baja 277 Islander. All right, well, my name is Jake over at Heartland Marine. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Area code 816-394-8850. Thanks.